Alright, hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the full version of Disc Aid for free. Um, basically what Disc Aid does is, you can get like everything off your iPod and computer. So, say for example, well this is what happened to me. I got Trojan on my computer, I had to restore my computer, lost all my iTunes, recovered just ha like half of it, but a lot of it I didn't have. So, I'll show you on my iPod. Uh, settings... Um, on here, hold on one second, it's loading. Alright, I have 593 songs on here. On my iTunes, I have, uh, let me bring it over real quick. Hold on, uh. In my iTunes, I have none. Totally empty. Just to show you, yeah, I'm in music. And eh, can I drag this up anymore? Oh, it doesn't even. Yeah, it doesn't even say anything at the bottom because I have no songs. So, alright, I have nothing in here. So, basically, I'll show you what to do. Um. Exit out of that. Alright, open up Discade. Ah, uh, do you like my new position on my camera? With my new, uh, my new tripod. I'm like holding it, like, using my computer as like a place to sit. Like, it's kind of weird. But, alright. So, you once you're in here, as you can see, mine is registered. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, it's refreshing. Alright, um, here's all my stuff in my iPod. So you can see, oh, you'll need this later. But, um, look on the bottom. If you're not registered, I don't want to just do that. If you're not registered, it'll say like so many days, uh, uh, remaining, and mine doesn't. So, what you want to do, is you want to go to disk aid, uh, enter serial key, and the, as you can see it says registered, so you want to do copycat at copycat.com, and the license key, I'm not going to say it because it's pretty long, and you can't just, uh, I'll have it in the description, but you probably can't copy the whole thing, I think you have to type it word by word, or letter by letter. So I'll have all this in the description. Basically, once you do, it'll if you do it all correctly, I'll have the little green dot in the top, and then you just say register, and then close out of that. All right. So basically, you're all registered. Now, to get your songs off it, basically what you want to do is have your iPod connected, uh, connected, and uh, basically you want to go. Uh, to the bottom. Let me get up here. Want to go to the bottom? Ah, I hate when that happens. And you want to go to down here, and it wherever it's on, you want it to be on media folder. And then you want to go to uh, iTunes control. Press the little pr plus, and you're gonna want to right click on the music folder, and just want to say copy to PC, and create a folder and or put it anywhere you want I'll create a folder because it's a bunch of random folders and copy it into there and I'm not gonna do it because I already did and this is gonna depending on how many songs you have it's gonna take a while like it took me like two hours for like 600 songs so I don't I don't know if it took me two hours but it took pretty long so once you're in there you wanna have I you wanna open up iTunes and basically I have all this so I am just gonna say file add folder to library and desktop and you're just gonna want to click on the folder say select folder and this will probably take a while depending on how many songs you have I don't know 
about you is probably going to go off. So I am going to come back when it is done. Alright, hey. So uh, now I got all my things transferred. So you can see all this stuff I've transferred. And uh, look down here. 607 songs. Uh, I have no idea what those extra 14 are, but I don't know. Oh, I don't remember. Never mind. Um, yeah, I transferred some songs from my uh, from another library. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I have that, and I now have all my songs back and everything else. And now I can just sync my iPod which I probably should now, but I can just sync my iPod and get all my songs and I will be good and I'll have all my songs back. So thanks for watching and please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.